So welcome back to another what I eat in a week video. I thought this would give me a really good way to kind of get back into the thing of things since I got back from London. I want to make sure like I'm like getting back into my new year routine, setting goals for myself. So this is the first what I eat in a week video of 2023. And honestly, I'm feeling like still very much under the weather from jet lag and everything. So um, this week is going to be a lot of like jello skin healing foods to get back on track. And that's why for today and with my resilient skin elixir, I'm going to be adding some more of this ginseng honey. You can drink this on its own, but I love, love, love adding it to my elixir for that additional honey. You can just add honey or ginseng on its own, but when it's in like this form, it's just so good for congestion, your cold. I'm going to add a bunch today. And then for breakfast, I have my favorite homemade muffins. I like to um, do these, especially on Sundays for like a meal prep and they're vegan, dairy free, egg free. I could have like this whole box if I wanted to, but I'll share my recipe down below and kind of like a short clip of how exactly I make this. It will probably be the healthiest muffin you'll ever try, but I'm telling you, it's so good. Oh. Uh. The taste of ginger and honey and my apples and jujube, everything is just perfection. It's literally like warming my whole body up. I feel like it's just like getting through my congestion and everything. Oh, so good. Um, so today's a very exciting day because my assistant officially starts today. You know, I've been on a hunt for an assistant for a while and I think I like was afraid to give up control because I think this is like a common problem for people who are entrepreneurs or have like their own startup. You know you can do it better than anyone else and I can certainly do it if I have like more than 48 hours in the day but I think what I realize is that you got to learn how to delegate and that's like a lesson that I've been hearing from other business leaders, reading from books, like the biggest failure could be in not being able to delegate. So I think this is a really good step for me to kind of start doing that and then letting go of some controls just so that I can focus on the things that truly matter to me and I'm good at and that's like a very very big goal for me in 2023 by the way so to be able to let go of control and focus on prioritizing the tasks that I am very good at and only I can do and delegate the rest so yeah such a big big day for me and I can't wait for her to try this as well This is our lunch. We both got avocado toast and I got myself a little beet latte. So my assistant started today. I'm excited. This is our first meal together. Very jello skin-esque. <laughs> Dipping this in oat milk is really the best way to enjoy digestive biscuits. I brought back so many from London, including the ones that my followers gifted me and I don't know why, but I just never ever ever get sick of these biscuits. You know how there's a TikTok audio of like, what's one thing you can eat every single day and you still never get sick of? These are these biscuits for me. I don't know what it is. I grew up eating them a lot, so maybe it's like a childhood taste for them. My husband won't touch them. He like doesn't like them. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Oh, 
Here is my Whole Foods grocery haul. Let's start from this side. We have some grilled chicken breast, wild-caught shrimp. I love the fact that these are huge, and then I love seafood, so this is a great way to increase my protein intake. These are obviously Ben's. I got some aloe vera juice to uh, mix into my smoothies. Oat milk. Oh, this is not what I ordered, but okay. Um, this is my favorite, favorite coconut ice cream, dairy-free more dairy-free stuff, vegan egg. I want to make fried rice with this. Coconut yogurt, you guys can see I'm obsessed with anything coconut. We have some beets, oh, this is tiny. Um, mushrooms, bean sprouts, lots of arugula, cucumber, and mandarin. So can you believe this whole thing costs over $100? Inflation, man. like every Korean family owns this um, dish and I just love it because it's perfect for like the Korean dinner where you have a soup rice with some side dishes although my side dishes are looking sad with just two but it still is something very healing and hearty bon appetit to mention i love black sesame and i will find any excuse to put black sesame in everything so just a sprinkle of this with my sweet potato and banana mark my words this combination of banana potato whipped cream peanut butter black sesame and honey is something you're going to thank me later for <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Gets me every time. For lunch, um, I'm just having my leftovers from yesterday, but I'm gonna have to add some more oil. So, this is my favorite kind of oil. It's called Tujirin Perilla Oil. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of my barbecue sauce because I add this on everything. This is like kind of like my dessert, red bean, and have it with more radish kimchi. Two types of people in this world people who like their cereal crunchy and people who like it soggy and the latter are the better people in this world because i am patiently waiting for this to get soggy it really builds patience you know the sauce they look gorgeous oh my god look yeah. at my alley wow are you vlogging yeah So many appetizers at the event but nothing was like you know that fulfilling as like a meal so i'm just making this really late night salad with everything in the fridge i just can't wait to like cook something new tomorrow but it's basically a medley of arugula avocado sweet potatoes beets chicken kimchi and nutritional yeast and olive oil some may think this is so weird but you know what it's just eat the rainbow and that's my goal for the new year my cup of cacao with creamy almond milk that I have almost every single night with a ton of cinnamon and of course my daily chocolate lazy sunday mornings hiding under covers i don't mind staying in with you play your favorite movie laying right beside me i don't mind when it's just us two the corner coffee shop we like to go late night walks with you to take me home i'm trying a new tea recipe out and i think this is close to being a winner all right let's taste these waffles from dr mona band um i have tried some of the meals before but i'm really excited because i love following her and her recipes and just i feel like we have a lot in common when it comes to wellness tips so i'm really excited for the meal plan that she came up with mm. i love the texture of the waffle some cinnamon in it mm. i'm impressed Wow. to have prepared healthy meals when I come home so that I don't have to eat pizza. It's like 11.30 p.m. right now when I was at an event. So fun, but I was just like picking at food and whenever I pick at food, I just get hungrier. So now I'm like here having some healthy meals. This is spaghetti and cauliflower meatballs. And this is Hasselback honey nut squash. I've never had Hasselback, so I'm just gonna pick up both of this because I'm hungry and I just can't go to bed when I'm hungry. Is your body next to me on rainy days? Just need your.
I just got back from working out. Didn't have breakfast before because I woke up late and I was so bloated after last night. So we're doing a brunch situation where I'm going to be making a pretty yogurt bowl and at the same time have some protein drink. And I'm boiling water at the same time. So let's make my favorite yogurt bowl. Here's my delicious yogurt bowl with a lot of granola, black sesame, and superfood powders for the skin. Oh, back from working out. I'm so exhausted, but I really wanted to get this protein drink. It's delicious to get my protein in for the day. Mm, I feel like it's going to be a pretty slow start to the day because I'm so happy I got my workout out because I haven't worked out. In a very long time with traveling and everything and i was sick so always working out first thing in the morning helps with the mood for everything and on to healthier snacks i have my sumo orange of course and my friend brought me dried mangoes from the philippines she's the best and I'm just so scared that once I open this, I'm going to finish this whole pack today. <laughs> I'm going to resist myself and try to have just like two to three a day so I can last a week in these. healthy vegan fried rice i know it doesn't look as appetizing but trust me it's super healthy and i'm just going to add a little bit of spice with this sometime on top bon appetit <laughs> Last morning of what I eat in a week. Um, I'm excited. This was a great week. And I'm ending up with a bang because I wanted to get something like milky boba's because it's Lunar New Year soon. But I wanted to make my own healthy version. I love, love, love making this. It's with all the great benefits for the skin. I'm on my last muffin. So these usually last me like five to six days if I'm good. And then I have this um, chia pudding with cardamom and Mido Pure. It's actually so, so good. I want to order it just to have this and the waffles, I guess. With this, you have to make sure you get all the snow mushroom and all the ingredients. The best part about this is you can eat everything in here. 
the goji berries, the snow mushroom. Snow mushroom is super good for hydrating the skin because it expands in that little thing. It's able to hold all the water in this ingredient in the same way it can hold hydration in your skin as well. Mmm. I have a workout closet for this, so I'm gonna be bringing this bulb up with me. This is what I have to do. Lunch. Yeah. You know? You make it look so easy. It is easy. This is the tuna sandwich, my favorite at Joe and the Juice. A little simple lunch. I just realized I completely forgot to film our dinner because I got so excited for Patsy Yu. I think I've been like filming recipes all week and now today I'm like, I'm done. I just want to get takeout. So it really hit the spot. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really enjoy filming these what I eat in a week videos for Jello Skin. So make sure to subscribe and like and continue to subscribe. Thank you.